Hey, you tumbleweeds. Is it okay if I call you tumbleweeds? I'm going to call you tumbleweeds. I just wanted to share this beautiful day with you. Hi. It uh, was a bit warm here today, but it's about 78 degrees right now. And we've got a slight breeze. And the sun is being blocked by my van. So I'm sitting here in the shade enjoying the the comfortable weather. Piglet is in the van watching me. <laughs> this is another reason that I love van life. Being able to stay in places like this. And very inexpensively, I might add, I have the New Mexico State Parks annual pass, which cost me $225 back in December. It's good for a year. And it gives you $10 off uh, per night on campsites. Um, you do have to pay a reservation fee. So the campsite that I'm at now is actually a tent site. I don't know if you can see the tent, the spot for the tent back there. I'm actually just have my van parked in the uh, parking space in front of the campsite. And uh, that's totally fine with them. I actually searched for it online and put in that I wanted an RV spot. So apparently they do allow RVs to park here um, since it is a pretty big, it's a, kind of like a pull through. So it's, it's pretty long space. So you could put a pretty big RV here. You could actually put a trailer here, I think, even with the truck you know, parked in front. So. It's a very nice campground. I've stayed at a, a lot of the New Mexico State Parks. Some are better than others. Um, they do have some electric and uh, I think they have electric and water, but no sewer here, but that, there's not very many of them. And of course, they were all taken, uh, but this is totally fine. I have to run my generator uh, once a day to charge my batteries back up. Um, but it's been, it was kind of cloudy this morning, but it's, it's sunny right now. So I get pretty good uh, sun on my solar panels. I am parked right next to a tree, but the sun does, the, the, the tree does not block the sun from my solar panels. So I'm pretty happy with this space. Um, I'll be here several more days. I'm trying to spend the summer in northern New Mexico. We're at an elevation of 7,500 feet here, and it's uh, quite a bit more, um, excuse me, quite a bit cooler here than it was in Snowflake. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I spent the last two months on an alpaca farm in Snowflake, Arizona, and it just started getting way too hot there. So, um, so I'm off to to follow the cool weather. I'll be heading to northern New Mexico uh, next week. I'll be staying up there for a couple of weeks, and then I'm moved to another <laughs> uh, state park, uh, also up north, more more near Chama, for a couple of weeks, and then I'll be going back. To Cimarron Canyon again for another couple of weeks and that that's all the reservations I've made so far I'm I don't do well making reservations because I, things just change I get tired of things I get an idea of oh I want to go here instead so luckily with this annual annual pass it, it only cost me $12 to make a two-week reservation so if I decide not to go to a state park that I've made a reservation at. I've only lost $12. So, uh, we'll see. I kind of would like to go to Colorado, but um, I'm trying not to spend too much money on diesel, which is a lot cheaper here than it was in Arizona. I mean, in um, Quartzsite area of Arizona and, and of course, California. I think I paid three dollars and fifty something cents a gallon when I filled up last time. Was that in gallon? That was in Gallup, New Mexico, which is 
pretty close to the border of Arizona. So anyway, uh, I'm just rambling. I don't know. I just felt like talking to you guys. <laughs> it took it a, a, the last three days I've been filming the, uh, the, uh, the, the casting of the ashes of my parents and it took a lot out of me trying to find a good spot. I intended to post that video the very first day, but it just didn't turn out that that spot was good. And then the second day, that spot wasn't good as well. Then I, there's altitude it was kind of giving me headaches a little bit. And uh, I think I might be allergic to something around here. So I've got uh, ready tabs in my van that I've been taking every morning to help with that. Unfortunately, in my last video, I didn't take those before I filmed, so it's sniffle, sniffle, sniffle the whole way through. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm learning. I'm learning, but I'm still making the same mistakes occasionally, which makes me really mad, but whatever. What are you going to do? But I am enjoying making these YouTube videos, and... Uh, just you know it's a good learning experience and um, I, the only thing that that is kind of disappointing to me is that people do not uh, leave comments even the ones that watch the video all the way through they may like it but it really helps me to know what you like about a video or even what you don't like about a video and uh, I need to I have a lot of views from people that aren't subscribed to my channel so if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe if you're enjoying the content of course um, but if you're still watching at this point then I think you might not be totally turned off and you really should hit the subscribe button and the like button all of that helps I'm a fairly new channel I just started it the first uh, I think February the 4th was my first uh, video upload so I haven't been doing it very long um, but I have over 500 subscribers um, and if you didn't know in order to uh, monetize your channel and earn advertising income you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours of your videos i have at this time that i'm making this video i have 512 subscribers and uh, about 1.2 thousand watch hours of my videos so the more videos i post seems to reason that i would get more watch hours but so there I go rambling again <laughs> okay well I'm gonna say good night it's uh 6 55 here um which is an hour later than in Arizona so on my time my timetable is still kind of messed up here so I'm not very far from where I was in Arizona, but the time is different. So, yeah, it's me kind of messing me up. And the sun comes up at like 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I usually leave my shades up on the van, which is on the slider side is facing the sunrise. Because I'm hoping that it will wake me up and I can film some of the sunrise. But so far... Um, I just wake the the sun does wake me up, but it's it's already too late for the sunrise. So, so hopefully I'll catch the sunrise and get to share that with you. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and come back for the next one. It, I'm not posting my normally. I normally try to post on Sunday, sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes it's Monday, but I posted three videos in a row <laughs> over the weekend and yesterday, so I don't know what my schedule is anymore, but 
if you subscribe and click the notifications bell, you'll get notified when I put a new video up. So that would solve that problem. Okay, well, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.